Hi guys, we promised you a part two <laughs> because we had some unfinished business, some comments, some questions that we wanted to address while we have Gina here with us. So I'm going to start it off by asking Gina a little bit about the immunotherapy. I think that piques everyone's interest. I know it piqued mine when I first heard about it through Gina and her daughters. So um, we're gonna pick off right from, we're gonna pick back up right from where we left off with that. And um, my question, and also Alicia Imandi's question, um, is about the immunotherapy regarding the newness of it and the effect, how effective it is and the side effects. Okay. Um, immunotherapy is about five years um, in the, it's been going on for about five years. Um, the side effects are, for me, have been very minimal. Um, itching, you have your skin gets dry and it itches a bit, uh, which topical things can take care of that. You know, you have creams that you can use on your skin. And they also have drugs you can take if it's severe. Um, so I've had a little bit of the itching and the dry skin. And I get a little tired the day after, actually. Like I do my immunotherapy um, every three weeks on a Tuesday. So on a Wednesday, I don't plan anything. I don't plan to go anywhere. I don't plan to do anything. I just veg. I just stay home and relax and... Probably put on Netflix. Exactly. Watch a good movie. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, I meditate a lot on a, two, on a, on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, I find, we didn't talk much about meditation in the, in the first episode, and that really, helps I find, you. really, really helps. And I always thought I couldn't meditate because when I tried to meditate, my mind wanders. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that that was okay until my two teachers, Rain and Sky, <laughs> told me that it's okay for your mind to, to wander, wander as long as you're able to, to bring it back, back and to refocus. Right. So I have a morning meditation that I do. I have a meditation for healing um, and for various things. And there's so many of them. You just go on YouTube and put in meditation for dealing with anger or meditation for healing or whatever you want to meditate about, whatever you want to change or fix. You know, um, there are several um, guided meditations and they're really cool. I really enjoy them. So, okay, to get back to immunotherapy. Um, effectiveness, they say it has a 95% success rate. Wow. wow. And I'm, I'm in that 95. Another question that I have, that can any and anyone, can anyone basically Do qualify for, no. for immunotherapy? No. I did not that's, think so. Yeah, that's yeah. another thing. Um, yeah. The type of proteins that the cancer, uh, your, your cancer, the tumors have, um, my protein is a hundred percent receptive to the immunotherapy. Wow. So again, I keep telling you, I'm so blessed. Yes. There's so many people, yes. and I, I am one in. I mean, I'm in the five percent of people that qualify for that. That have that wow. amount of protein, that type of protein. You may have fifty percent of that protein, which means. You might be able to do chemo, but they'll also have to do, um, I mean, you may have to do, you can do immunotherapy, but you'll have to do chemo as well. So I was lucky in that I was 100% receptive to the immunotherapy, no chemo, nothing else. Um, and then there's some people who they just, they don't have, the, the protein that's in their tumor is not receptive to it at all. So it's just not, it's not an option for them. Yeah. Wow. Would you say that immunotherapy is um, somewhat similar to holistic treatment? Um, it's a drug. It's a chemical. It's still a drug. It's still a drug. Yes. It's still a chemical. And the holistic drug, is strictly natural. Right. Yes. So yeah, to, to answer that, no. The, the drug I take with the, in the immunotherapy is called Keytruda. Mm -hmm. You see it advertised on TV. You can Google it. It's, 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 How it's do you spell it? Um, Ketruda, K E Y, Ketruda, how do you spell it? Ketruda. K Y E. But it's with a K. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was thinking it could be with a C just so that no, we know to K Google K. it and look it up. Yeah. Interesting. All very interesting information to have. I didn't think that each and everybody would qualify for it. Yeah. No, I don't. At any point in time, did you think that you would go strictly holistic as opposed to medical treatment or? 
no. chemical treatment. No. I am a firm believer in the westernized medicine, but you can back it up with holistic. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, when you're in, when you're faced with stage four, you're not gonna take the chance. And I, I'm not. I mean, right. and with you're all not. respect to mm -hmm. to People those who totally to believe take in, that chance. that's fine. Yes, yes. But um, yeah, I decided to go with traditional medicine and and back it up with with the holistic. I take I drink sour sop water. I boil the leaves. I drink that water every day. Um, there's guinea hen. There's a lot of things that Jamaican Jamaican herbs and and leaves and stuff. You know, I I do those things as well. But I still go in every three weeks and get my cocktail. Yeah. You change your diet. I hate to use the word diet. I, I prefer a nutritional plan. I really prefer like my <laughs> My husband tries to give me anything that's really fatty. I'm like, dude, this is messing with my that. No, this is messing with my nutritional plan. Okay. So you chose to go with a raw nutritional plan for yes, the most part. For the most part, and that was. Um, that was given to me by a friend of mine. Oh, we were, well, we were sisters. We were both both married to, to two brothers. Pat Wright in Jamaica. She is a six-time cancer survivor. Wow. Now, she's somebody, if, if she was here, you'd want to have her on your program. She's had wow. cancer six times in her life. She's been fighting cancer for over 40 years. Wow. And she is a vegetarian. She has a vegetarian restaurant in Montego Bay. Um, oh gosh, she's gonna kill me for not remembering the name of it. <laughs> um, but it's strictly vegetarian, and she has a kiosk in Devon House, and she is strict vegetarian. Yeah. She's also, and she was the one who said as much raw, raw as, possible. as possible, you know. And so I would be, she, we would be on the phone every day. I, I would send her pictures of my stool. Wow. Yeah, oh, and wow. she yeah, and so she, she, she was amazing, yeah. and she was the one who told me what to eat, what not to eat, the deep sea fish as against just regular fish, um, yes. and then what did, what that raw diet did is it, it purged my system, it cleansed me, it took so it took out all the the toxins, and it got my body ready for for the immunotherapy, treatment. for the yeah. treatment. We'd yeah. have to get the name of her restaurant. So we will post that Jeez, at um, some point. Because right. okay, I want Christ. to check it out as we well. Will. Yeah. We will. Um, I want to ask you about how did your life change? Like, are you driving now? Are you working now? Are you reliant on other people for specific things? So walk us around that a little bit. Okay, no, well, I'm not driving, and it mm -hmm. is driving me crazy that I can't drive, drive because I feel like there's nothing wrong with me. But the doctors have said, mm -hmm. as long as there are tumors still on your brain, you anything can happen, drive. that they yes. won't let me drive. Now, remember, I was diagnosed with seven tumors, and after the cyber knife radiation, four of them disappeared completely. So I'm now left with three that we, we don't know if, if the immunotherapy has taken care of them yet. So in another, I think I'm gonna do another MRI this month to determine um, how many, if the, if the other two months left, have, yes. if they've um, died from the, from the immunotherapy or if they've shrunk and how the size of them and so on. So we're gonna do that uh, this month and then in another two months we'll do a scan on the on the chest on the lungs to see where those tumors are wow mm -hmm. but so i can't drive um i don't drink anymore because drinking alcohol it weakens your immune system and this is all about building up the immune right. system so that it can attack the the bad cells the tumor cells so i'm kind of boring now i don't know <laughs> yeah, okay, really good question. Boring. but do you do cbd maybe cbd oils yes i do oh yes. mm -hmm. and i am um, i'm registered with the state of florida so i do take uh, medical marijuana i wow, went to dr excellent. anthony hall up in tamarack mm -hmm. and he was able to get me on the program perfect. he got me registered perfect. great guy perfect um, anthony hall anthony dr anthony hall yeah i've sent a lot of people to him okay. too so at one stage, I think in the initial stage, like you couldn't move your head or anything, right? Oh, well, I, yeah, until they started treating me, they wanted me not to, to bend my head. They didn't want the blood, because my, one of the tumors was, there was blood, it was bleeding. They didn't want the pressure of the blood coming down on my head. So I couldn't bend down, I couldn't hold right. my head down. 
my vision was blurred, my handwriting was, I was like, who is this? When I wrote oh, something, I was like, what? Wow. I have wow. a really nice penmanship and I'm looking at this crab and I'm mm. saying, what the hell? Mm. Yeah, it was, it was weird. The first couple of weeks were kind of weird. How to be here. Yeah. Let me go back to the medical marijuana. Did you have marijuana before taking this medical marijuana? No. Did you ever have? So what is the effect when you when you when you do the, the medical marijuana? What is the effect well, on they your have, body? And they have C B D oil yes. and they have THC. Yes, they do. No, THC is the one that makes you high. Hi. That's the drug. That's mm -hmm. the yeah. So um, I have the C B D which I can take every day and it does nothing Feels to fine. me. Yeah, I don't feel anyway. Okay. The THC if I take too much of it, I feel like I've just had a split. Right. right. Yeah. You feel kind of woozy. Right. Your mouth gets kind of dry. You kind right. of want you want something to eat. eat. You want to pick and so on. Wow. But then it will knock you out, and that's why they tell uh, cancer patients who are in a lot of pain to take the, the THC oil because it puts them to sleep. To sleep. It, it takes Relaxing. care of the pain. It relaxes mm -hmm. you. Yeah. But um, if I take a little bit, like a quarter of a dropper, it just it kind of just relaxes me, and I go to sleep better. I can sleep better on it. Which yeah. is good. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. You can probably have like a worry-free night. Yes. Yeah. 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 So there was another Someone question. Someone asked on a question there. about yes. the pet They scan. wanted to know um, why they weren't doing the pet scan after the breast. Okay. Well, I after did the after yeah. the yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I did do a, a pet scan after the the breast cancer but they are also extremely expensive and the insurance will not approve it if they don't have, you know, cause to, you can't just get a PET scan just to find out if you have cancer anywhere. Mm. They have to have a good reason to yes. authorize um, the PET scan. So, so did you ever, do you have a GoFundMe account or anything? How can I people do. help if they want to? Because you're in continuous treatment. Yes. Correct. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's like, it's, Two thousand three hundred and something dollars a pop every three weeks. Wow! And, and, and this is not covered by insurance. Some of it is covered, yeah, okay. but not all of it. So. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, how I do they find me? Go find me. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so they just put in your name and they'll be able to find I think it. So. Or we, we can, can also post share it as well. It as well. Yeah, you as can well. share. Can share. I, don't, I don't remember. That's another thing. The cyber knife kind of messed with my memory a bit. Yes. Um, with, uh, with facts, you know, mm -hmm. I don't remember some things. Which I haven't had we'll cyber that. knife on my memory really <laughs> I know, I know. And it sucks. And I, I think it's just age. I think it's, it's just, just it's a just lot of so much information you've gathered along the way that you kinda have to push out some and keep some in and somehow things get tangled up yeah. in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I know there is a GoFundMe page, but I don't remember that. So we'll we'll Gina find it. it and we'll share it. Yes. Right. So the GoFundMe is one way to come out and support the party this weekend. Yes ma'am. Um and we'll post the party as well. And also to support your Gina Trinkets, Trinkets by well. Gina or Blessing Beads by Gina. Yeah, I mean, they're gorgeous. They're I really love cool. them. I, I know Cheryl is one of my biggest customers. <laughs> she buys and buys. I mean, when, I, when I I'm anywhere and I see Cheryl, I'm like, yes! Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So, and we, I thank you. I love my supporting. Darling. I love supporting. So, I'm we had a you. lot of great comments, um, just people saying how phenomenal you are for sharing your story. They love your spirit. Prayers you definitely help. Um, sure and the fact that it, it doesn't have you. you. You're in control of your life. Yeah. And like we've always said, it's the choices we make. You can choose to get up and live every day to its fullest, or you can let whatever struggle you're going through consume um, you. Yeah, and right. have you not get up and not have you function every day. Yeah. So. We thank you. Thank Thanks you. for staying and doing part two for us um, as we talk about your journey and wish you all the pleasure. best. And we will continue to support you in any thank way you. we can. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> I, I love, love you guys. I love you, love too. You too. We thank love you. you, too. We love your daughters. We, we love your stories. We, we truly love it. We, we're glad you were able to come on here. And we're, we know that you were able to inspire and encourage many of the viewers that we have on here today. Well, that's mm -hmm. my hope. And if I've inspired one person, then I'm happy. Yes, 
I friends. One person at a time, yes. one day at a time, Absolutely. one life at a when, time. What a legacy your family is leaving for Noah Lee. Listen to me now. Between her grandfather, between you, between Rain and Sky, I mean, what a phenomenal family. Yeah. And one day, as she gets older and looks back at this episode of you and how powerful you are as a woman, it's amazing. She would probably come say, on the Caribbean. That's my nana. <laughs> <laughs> she would yeah. probably come on the Caribbean. I know. Now. She'll be a guest for our kids time. or something. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because we're going to leave a legacy as well. Right? Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Exactly. So, girl power. Thank you again, yes. Gina. Thanks, yes. guys. Thank, Thank you, you Alicia Imambi, for she is beautiful, for my beautiful pink dress. Thank you so much. I love it. It's comfy. It's cute. <laughs> and thanks for tuning in again to another episode of the Caribbean Edge. We look forward to seeing you every Wednesday at 8 p.m. And remember to share this episode because you also are impacting lives as you do this. Thank you. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone. Take care. Bye. Night, night. Good night. <laughs>